Hello. Uh, today we will see how to create this uh, glitch effect. As you can see, we will see how to go that from this to something like that. All right, so let's let's do it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and as you can see I still have my PSD in here for open I will uh, put this PSD in a link where you can download it in the link in the description or with the, the texture I'm using so I will just save it and now I will just close this this file and we just open the image that you're gonna be using you can choose whatever image you want and the first thing we will do is uh, we'll uh, try to delete the background from uh, this image so I will just duplicate it by pressing ctrl G and I will uh, darken it a little bit so I will uh, press ctrl L so I will uh, make uh, a level adjustment and now I will try to darken it like so alright now I will go to the quick selection tool and uh, it will be easy now uh, to select the, the, the image so we we'll just select it Now I will just deselect this one in here and I will go to this layer and I will make a layer mask so we just press this icon in here and now by pressing control and in a new layer icon I can make a, a layer under the image in here so I will just fill it with black by pressing alt delete as you can see we have it uh, cut it in here now I will go to the layer mask and we choose refined mask in here and I will try to bring back a little bit of the hair so I will check smart radius and I will just try to find a little bit like so and in here too like so and I will press ok now I will just try to paint in here a little bit the hair Alright, now I will uh, merge everything by pressing Shift Control Alt E and I will put this in a group by pressing Control J. Now I will duplicate this one in here in case I will uh, need the, the original. Now I will go to the rectangle selection tool in here and I will just try to make a rectangles, a lot of rectangles like so. So, as many as uh, depend on how you want. So, just keep selecting like that. Now I will go to filter and I will choose distort and wave. I will put the uh, uh, the number of generators in two and I will make sure it's in the type it's square and the minimum 20 by 30 and 20 by 30 in here and I will press ok as you can see uh, if I deselect uh, it will uh, make it like a glitch a little bit like so now I will repeat uh, the same method in the other areas in here so I will just fast the video a little bit and we keep going like this
so uh, something like that in case like you were wondering how I do that without going to filter I just uh, make the selection and as you can see if I go to filter and you can see in here wave so if I press control F it will make uh, the same method so I just press control F and it will do it all right now uh, I will do another uh, selections with the, the, the marquee tool like so we'll try to select like this a little bit taller this time in here like so as much as you want it of course now I would now I will just uh, copy it by pressing ctrl C and shift ctrl V to uh, paste it in, in a new layer now I would go to filter distort and now I would just uh, choose uh, no, or I would just go to pixelate and I would choose fragment in here As you can see it's, it's blurry a little bit now uh, I would just go to filter again and I would choose distort and I would choose wave again and I would press ok now uh, what, I, what I can do is I would press ctrl T to uh, enter the transform and now I will just uh, move it into the right a little bit like so as you can see like this and I will press enter as you can see it gives it a, a really nice glitchy effect now I will just go to in, the, in this file in here and I will uh, watch this texture and we'll place it like so and I'll press enter now I will change the blending mode to lighten as you can see give it a really nice PHG or uh, let's let's first uh, put uh, an, a new layer in here and we deselect this VHC texture we make a new layer and we fill it with 50% gray by pressing shift F5 and we choose 50% gray and we press OK now we go to filter and we choose uh, filter gray and in this sketch folder in here we choose half tone pattern and we'll make sure uh, the pattern type is line and the size 1 and the contrast 50 you press ok now we change the blending mode to subscribe as you can see now we try to darken it a little bit by pressing ctrl L and we make it darker like so see it's give it these lines and now we check the the ABHC uh, layer in here and we, we, we just go to adjustment and we choose a level and we darken it a little bit too like so now we go to our other uh, texture in here, PHC texture 2. We put all this texture in a file where you can download it. 
in the link in the description below so we press ctrl t to transform it place it in here now i will change the blending mode to pin light and i will just uh, make the, the opacity for like 50, 70 percent or 50 press enter now i will make it under the level mask in here now as you can see it gives it a really nice uh, effect now we just merge everything by pressing shift ctrl alt e and we will duplicate this uh, picture we just merge by pressing ctrl g and we go to filter distort shear and we just try to uh, make it like move like uh, television like so like this it's depend on how you want it so it's okay as you can see now I will make it under this one in here and I will make a black bear mask in this layer so I can just uh, paint a little bit of uh, the area that I want I don't want it to be affected with the, the sheer uh, filter like so And there you go so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know have a nice day thank you for watching